I'm not usually in here shooting this video when the sun is out like this. Um, hi, this is Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com. At the start of a new weekly vlog, it is Monday night, and I'm going to show you a few things that I listed today and some things that I'm getting ready to ship off tomorrow. Uh, the first thing is this carved soapstone buckle from China. Uh, I assume it's from China. It's kind of a faux jade. I tested it just to be sure, but I was pretty sure it wasn't jade. It feels like soapstone. Um, but it's, I don't know, is that a Buddha head? I wasn't sure who that is, but it might be a Buddha. There are so many different types of Buddhas. Um, anyway, I listed that for 19. And then we have this beautiful Murano glass elephant. Uh, pretty sure it's the real thing. There are, I found some exactly this design that were had their Murano sticker and everything. So I'm um, pretty sure this is a genuine Murano Millefiori cane glass elephant. Just one problem. He has a chipped trunk. And I don't know if I did this or I bought it like this, but I suspect I did it because I think I checked. I'm usually pretty careful about checking glass to make sure there are no chips, and one of the first things I would have checked would have been the trunk, but then again, you never know. I was kind of off the day I bought this. I bought a number of things that I didn't inspect closely enough because I was so giddy at getting to go to the flea market. But anyway, he does have a little chip on the end of his trunk, so I priced him oh, as low as I could possibly make myself price him. Um, ordinarily, it would have been a pretty expensive item. It's big. It's like three pounds of glass. Um, anyway, he is priced at um, uh, 36 Is that right? Yeah, $36. And then, um, lastly, uh, let's see if I can show you these. It's, there's two California pottery bowls here. There's a green one and a brown drip glaze one. And neither, I don't know the maker on either of those. I do know that they're definitely California pottery because of the way the marks are. Um, but I don't know the makers. And then this one, this pretty turquoisey one, kind of a modernist, a little pedestal, sort of a bowl slash vase. Um, this is Rose Lane, and Rose Lane is, you know, one of the important California potteries. Anyway, I listed the three of those together for, for <coughs> excuse me, $45. Oh. Um, okay, so these are the three items that I sold today. Um, all jewelry. This is a purple heart kind of a floating setting. Really pretty faceted purple glass. Nice and large. Let's see, is that an Avon? No, it's not Avon. Uh, anyway, that I, list, uh, I sold for um, $21. And then this um, sterling silver turquoise chip inlay pendant necklace sold for 27 oh where are you 27 yes and then oops lastly we have this uh, turquoise kind of nuggety and sterling silver this is the Navajo ring and that sold for 39 And the price of silver has gone way up, but I have not adjusted any of my prices, so now might be the time for you to grab silver jewelry from my shop before I start raising prices. I don't know if I will or not, but I might. Um, by the way, all of my prices are free shipping. Almost all of them. Hi there. It is Tuesday evening, and I'm going to show you a few things that... I am wrapping up to ship tomorrow. I uh, didn't really get any listings done today. I've been putting together some special requests from uh, p 
people who saw my haul video and want me to give them prices on things and put together groups of things for them. So I've been working on that today mostly and uh, had a doctor's appointment and that kind of stuff. So anyway, hopefully I'll get some listings done tomorrow or maybe tonight. Maybe I'll work tonight. Who knows? Okay, so I have two items today. Um, you saw me just list this yesterday. Um, this is the carved soapstone belt buckle. And I sold that to one of my YouTubers, you know who you are, for $19. And then uh, this is um, Victorian Revival pretty little ornate bracelet. And it is signed LJM, which is Laurentian Jewelry Manufacturing, I think is what it's called. I really love the colors in that. And let's see, uh, that one sold for $34. Hi there, it is Wednesday night, and I'm here to tell you about a few things that I've gotten listed. But first, I want to show you something that's really funny. This, well, here's, I guess you read it from the back because it's Japanese. But this is a very large manga book. It looks like a telephone directory. And this is, I believe, three or four complete novels, manga illustrated novels and mine is one of them <laughs> in a uh, former life I wrote romance novels for Harlequin books and although I have my last book came out in 2013 so it's been quite a while um, but they still are selling the foreign rights to my books every so often I get a few dollars in royalties and they always send me as you know, part of the deal. I get a copy of any foreign books that are published, and uh, so they published one of my books as manga. So, very fun. I wish I could read Japanese. I would love to know what the story ended up being like. They, they, they have carte blanche to do just about anything they want to it. Um, I kind of sign over my rights in that way. But I think this one is mine. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But the original title, in case you're interested, was The Unlawfully Wedded Princess. Okay, anyway, uh, let, let's uh, show you what I got listed, and then I'll show you what I am sending off tomorrow. So first off, we have this Mexican sterling silver, 950 silver, and chip inlay tur turquoise, and I think perhaps it's onyx in a, it's like onyx chips in a, Crushed turquoise matrix. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Oh, muffin, what is it? And um, the, this is signed MB. MB is a known, semi known artist. Don't know the name, but there's a lot of his, his or her jewelry out there. And uh, I listed that for uh, $95. And then the matching bracelet. I listed separately, but it's also an MB950 silver. And the bracelet I listed for uh, 48 And then we have, I just think these are so pretty. These um, enamel on sterling silver feather dangle earrings. Not marked or signed, but probably Native American, just mostly because I know the buying tastes of my sister-in-law from whom they came um, and I listed those for $38 and then lastly um, let's see I know there's a way to pause this the uh, last item I listed was this blanket it is um, Mexican wool saltillo style blanket 
and uh, listed that for 65 This is a reserved listing. Someone saw it in my haul video and requested it. So that is that. And here is uh, what I am wrapping up to ship off tomorrow. Uh, the first item is this purple silk maxi skirt with this gorgeous embroidery on the hem. Um, I sold that for $18 plus shipping because this is an older listing when I was still charging for shipping and uh, so the total is around $25 but boy would I ask for more for this now this is just beautiful but anyway it's been for sale for a really long time at a really low price so I'm surprised it's taken so long to sell because it's really nice it's in perfect condition I don't think it's ever been worn uh, and then uh, this, this is a, a grouping of items that one of my lovely YouTubers, you know who you are, uh, saw on the haul video and requested that I sell to her. So it's um, three pair of earrings plus this book about Japanese bamboo art. And uh, this all, all of these together sold for $45. Hi there, it is Thursday evening and I want to show you a few things that I got listed today and then I'll show you the one lonely sale I had today that I'm going to ship tomorrow. Okay, well first off I listed this um, tiny cross stitch embroidered tablecloth. You can see the little floral pattern that it has. It's really pretty, delicate little flowers. And I had someone request this after seeing it on the haul video, so I listed it reserved for her at $29. And then we have this cute little, um, probably Murano glass uh, elephant. Kind of a, could be a paperweight, although it's really a little big for a paperweight, but a cute elephant with his trunk up. Unlike the one I just showed you recently, this one is not chipped. He's in good shape. And I listed him for 45 Then we have this is a Siam Silver dome ring. It's a little unusual for Siam Silver in that it doesn't have any niello or enamel. It's just plain. It does have a bit of tarnish on it. But it looks much better than it did. I did do some polishing on it because it was very, very dull. It had some kind of a, I don't know what was on it, but, but I didn't, I just polished it enough to give it a little shine. I didn't, didn't do much else to it. And that listed for, um, 29, I think, is that right? Uh, yeah, 29. And then, um, this is the... Metropolitan Museum of Art Sterling Silver Ring. Um, it is marked WAG, copyright symbol MMA. I don't know what WAG means. It seems to be on a lot of the MMA um, jewelry, but I, I hunted and hunted and I couldn't find any explanation for what the different initials mean on this jewelry. Some of them have other initials besides that. But anyway, it's a beautiful modernist bypass ring. Pretty substantial. And I listed that for 55 And this is the one sale I've had. It is a carved bone necklace depicting an elephant. And this is, would be from India. And it's got a bunch of little beads that all are elephant shaped. This would have been probably a souvenir of India back in the day. It's got a, got a barrel clasp, so that's probably going to be about 1960s. And that's all for $20. And here's Muffin making her displeasure known because I am monopolizing her printer where she wants to sleep. Oh, Muffin, I brought you your dinner tonight. Aren't you happy with that? No? Okay. Here, oh yeah, there, now the sun is on your face. Now we can see your pretty face. 
Say hi. Hi, everybody. You don't get to see. Well, we used to call him Mr. Dirty Girl, but since I'm not really calling my podcast Digging with Dirty Girl anymore, it doesn't make much sense, does it? I can still be dirty. <laughs> well, this is, we're at our meeting spot where we meet our friends to do our bike ride, so. Just chilling. We got here pretty early, so it's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's a cute boat out there. Oh yeah. What is that? Can't tell. So uh, this is an antique picture frame, brass picture frame, made in Italy, that I got. I resisted buying it at the last flea market, but um, the guy wanted like 20, you know, I think he wanted 15, and I offered 5, because I knew it was going to be a lot of work, and I didn't really want it, but um, he kept lowering the price, and I kept saying no, and he eventually gave it to me for five so I am rehabilitating it as best I can I'm using a Wright's brass polish and a toothbrush because it won't it's very stubborn and it now I don't want it shiny 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 but I don't want it solid brown with no shine at all so I'm working on it I'll show it to you when and if I ever get done Hi there, it is Friday evening and I'm going to show you some items that I got listed and the, another one lonely sale that I made today. Thank goodness one of you came through and bought something from me today. So, I thought I only, I thought that I got four listings done, but I actually, I guess I only got three. I have some started, but I didn't finish them. Okay, so I listed a couple of these half aprons that are embroidered. Um, I thought Mexico, but one of my alert viewers says, no, 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 Guatemala, and I think she is right. Um, I tend to get those two mixed up, but anyway, I mean, not the countries themselves, but the work. But anyway, I love the color on this, this beautiful teal color, and the three-dimensional braids on the girl. Isn't that cute? She's got a hat with birds on it. <laughs> um... This one I listed for 28 and this one, the embroidery on this one is just astounding. Look at that. Can you imagine how long that took? Isn't that beautiful? I listed that one for 32 Ugh. And then, um, oops, I listed, this is, I believe in the haul video I thought this was a blanket, but on closer inspection it's a poncho. <laughs> it has a slit in the middle of it. And it's got these cute llamas. So it's or, or alpacas, maybe. It's made of either llama or alpaca wool, and it's probably from Peru. It does show a little bit of wear, but nothing major. No major problems. It has one really faint stain, which I was able to wash it, and I got most of it out. So, And I didn't like put it through the washing machine or anything. I just spot treated it. So I think if maybe with a little more work it would come all the way out, but you can't really notice it. I don't even, I don't know where it is. It might be right there, but with this kind of oatmeal color, it doesn't show very much. Anyway, I love the colors in this. This I listed for a, a 92. And this is the sale. I think I already told you I listed this by request. This uh, tablecloth with the tiny cross stitch flowers sold for 29 Thank you so much. The wind is going to be terrible. I'm sorry, but we are on our picnic adventure. Sunday picnic adventure. We are. This is the electric company right of way that they've the red turned. Car. Okay, the, oh, the red car. This trolley right of way. Well, anyway, it's somebody's right away, and um, and they've turned it into a little, a little park with a little trail. So that we check it out. Rob's already seen it. He's ridden his bike on here, but I haven't. There's a snowy egret, and I think I saw another one a few minutes ago. This might be the same one I saw. But, Oh, they're so pretty. I love egrets. Mm -hmm. 
know, the um, hat industry almost made them go extinct because they're pretty feathers. Thank goodness, can't take their feathers anymore. Can't kill them. <laughs> He's cute. Hi there, it is Sunday night, home from our picnic. Uh, I know there wasn't much footage, it was a little breezy today. So I didn't shoot much. But anyway, I'm going to show you a few things I got listed today and maybe yesterday. And then I'll show you what I will be shipping off tomorrow. Okay, so first off we have the fur stole or cape. This belonged to my husband's grandmother. It dates from the 1950s. And... Uh, I'm not sure what kind of fur it is. I think it's mink, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And um, I did, I fixed the seam that was open. Oops, it was right there. And I didn't do a great job because I, it's kind of hard. Sewing on fur is pretty hard, but I, I have it closed up. Um, it's stable and it's, you know, it's on a, it's not real visible when you're wearing the stole. But, um, you know, somebody take it to an alterations place and they could do a neater job of it. But at least I stabilized it and so there's not stuffing coming out anymore. Anyway, I listed that for $85. And then this is a batik shirt from probably somewhere in Indonesia, Bali or something like that. And it's just a basic shirt. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. It's crisp and nice and clean. And it's got all this embroidery on it. And I listed that for 24 Then we have some jewelry. Oh, oh okay. Um, sorry. This is a little um, Zuni, probably. Hummingbird and flower pin. It's got turquoise, onyx, coral, abalone, and mother of pearl. And um, I listed that for 32 And then this cute little turtle inlaid mother of pearl and sterling silver brooch. It is marked 925 This is almost certainly Native American because of the style of it and the construction and how beautiful it is. And he, I listed for 36 And these are the items that I sold over the weekend. We have this crazy snaky brass, um, they're like cup beads. The beads that like fit together and are articulated. I love the feel of these. They feel like snakes. <laughs> um, so that one was 27 and then we have two micro mosaic brooches that I sold as a lot. Um, these are new-ish ones, probably uh, 1970s or so. Um, those sold for 29 for the pair. Then we have a Mexican silver and blue cat's eye ring. And that sold for 26 And we have, this is a very recently listed item, the Royal Wooster Egg Coddler with the pretty floral pattern on it. The extra large Maxim size. That sold for 35 And then, alas, we had this little little kitchen towel with the tiny cats on it from Mexico, I believe. It also has these other little patterns all embroidered so sweetly. And uh, that sold for 19 And that customer used the special secret coupon that only my YouTube users get. And that coupon code is YouTube Banks, all one word. And that will get you 10% off. 
in anything in my store. So, don't forget to use the coupon. Oh, and um, I guess this concludes another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would be very grateful. And um, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do these vlogs and I do uh, vintage hauls. And we have a lot of fun. And comment and share. And that's it. And I'll see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.